I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. Dubrovnik's massive city walls enclose one of the world's best preserved medieval cities. And certainly you want to spend some time exploring this UNESCO World Heritage Site. But you can do a lot in addition to seeing Dubrovnik. We're going to visit the old city and the countryside, where we'll go for a spin on a bike and sample some local delicacies for a taste of life here on the Dalmatian coast. I felt as though I had stepped onto a medieval stage set as I walked through Dubrovnik. In fact, I learned that was exactly the case. Parts of HBO's Game of Thrones was filmed here. Dubrovnik was the fictional city of King's Landing. I didn't have to look back to the Middle Ages for dramatic history in Dubrovnik. Following the breakup of Yugoslavia in the early 1990s, Dubrovnik was shelled for several months by its former neighbors during the Croatian War of Independence. Talk to almost anyone over the age of 30, and they'll tell you stories of how they lived during that war. Dubrovnik suffered significant damage, but you'd hardly know it walking the city today. We're in the cloisters of a functioning Dominican monastery here in Dubrovnik's old city. It's beautiful, it's peaceful, and it's cool. And it also has a bit of a bonus, 15th century paintings by the local masters. I found the Dominican monastery to be a mix of a cathedral and a museum. In fact, it's in the monastery that I discovered Dubrovnik's finest collection of Renaissance paintings. Among the many works by local and Italian masters is a painting by Titian, an Italian painter who was the most important member of the 16th century Venetian school of art. My next stop was the Ethnographic Museum. It's an old granary that dates back to the 16th century, but it also provides insights into how people lived in Dubrovnik. I enjoyed seeing the local folk costumes, as well as the textile handiwork machines. One of the buildings least damaged during the siege of Dubrovnik in the 1990s was the Assumption Cathedral. However, this isn't the original cathedral. There were a succession of buildings here, including one that was destroyed by an earthquake in the 1600s. The Italian artist Titian painted the Assumption of the Virgin a painting that dates back to the 1500s. Stepping into this religious monument in the heart of such a fortified city was a special experience for me. I nearly missed the cathedral treasury, which holds ancient relics dating back to the 11th century. The highlight, the gold-plated arm, leg, and skull of St. Blaise. We headed up and along the beautiful Dalmatian coast to board a boat that would take us to harvest fresh oysters. 
The captain gave me a warm greeting and something to sip. An herbal liqueur. He did say bottoms up, and so I obliged. We were in a small town that's known as the Oyster Capital, Croatia. We pulled away from the pier and left the town in our wake as we headed out to an oyster bed. The captain pulled the boat up to a floating platform and I stepped out, eager to see what was coming next. So now we've come out here by boat and we are harvesting the oysters. We're pulling these up from the sea. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna eat these next, but uh, this is what they look like when we take them from the sea. Mm. Now these just now came out of the water here, so they do taste a little bit salty, but they're actually pretty darn good. What I like about this tour is that you can see Dubrovnik Old City and then come out here where it's very peaceful out in this beautiful water. When I got on the boat, I got a shot glass of this. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but I did down it with the captain. And what I've learned is that this is like grappa made from grapes, except that it has 15 herbs and spices in it. So they say it's like medicine here. You need one in the morning, and maybe one or two in the afternoon and evening. My next adventure was a bike ride through a valley not far from Dubrovnik. We pedaled through wine producing farmland that was beautiful, but we were cycling to a place that was simply stunning. I've had a fantastic day on a bicycle here in the Canavli Valley. The valley takes its name from all of these canals. This is a wine producing region, an olive producing region, a peace producing region. It's absolutely stunning and what better way to see it than on a bike. So now we're in a mill that's more than 250 years old and we're gonna see how olive oil was made. Now they don't produce the oil here in mass quantities any longer, but we are gonna see the process and have a sampling afterward. This is the old fashioned way of making olive oil, using a press driven by a horse with a little help from the horse's owner. Basically the two of them are squeezing the oil from fresh olives harvested nearby couldn't ask for olive oil fresher than this. I enjoyed seeing the process and I couldn't wait to taste it. Here we produce olive oil when we have 70% black olive, 30% uh, green olive. This mix is this color, gold color. We were treated to a feast of fresh breads that I dipped into the olive oil and vegetables from the owner's garden. I really enjoyed the opportunity to experience life in a Croatian farmhouse. It was genuine, authentic, and exceptionally tasty, a moment worth celebrating. Well, I want to thank uh, Mato and Anka for uh, a wonderful experience here and some really good food. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much for your hospitality. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. thank you thank very you. much. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thanks. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the variety of experiences we've been able to show you from Dubrovnik. There's a lot more to do when you visit the city known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, 
but to discover those things, you'll simply need to come for yourself. I'm Ralph Grizzle, and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.